Hey guys, Scott from Aristocob.com here. And Seth from ShinkyPastor.com. Together, the three of us, we are Mark Woodman's Breakfast Club. Well, welcome back once again. <laughs> Thank you. Good morning. To Tobacco Advent 2014 Day 5. That's right. <laughs> Great to see you again, you boy. You too. Looking good. Thanks, I usually am. <laughs> You're looking all right. So while you're getting that down, let's talk about yesterday's tobacco. Uh, that was from Nate, and it was the fruity one, yeah, which was good. I yeah. like that. That that reminds me a little bit of the 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 stuff that we get from Germany. The, the German tobacco, a little bit. Super secret German tobacco. It wasn't the same. No, the casing wasn't as strong, but it was good. I like the German tobacco better, but that was good. It was it was a strong tobacco though. That Nate sent strong as in like like a strong cigar. Right. Yeah, yeah, not not overpowering and not... The casing uh, wasn't strong. No. The tobacco was strong. Yes. Hey, another one from Joel. All right. Uh, at Ransom Pipes on Instagram. All right. Nightcap from Dunhill. Nightcap. A rich blend for late in the day. You know what that means? Smell it. That means it's a stronger tobacco, usually... Late in the day, you've been smoking all day, right. you need something strong to kind of kick its way through. Yeah. It's kind of like you don't eat blue cheese pancakes, but you can have blue cheese with your salad at dinner time. I don't know what that means. Stronger, heartier gotcha. taste later in the day. So right. this is going to be stronger than... Uh, it is a slow-lasting smoke. Just prior to packing, expensive Perique tobacco is added to enhance the bouquet. <laughs> oh, it's got a bouquet. It does. It does. Um, all right. Yeah, you know what really benefited Dad last year? His cold. That Ooh, he had. that's right. And he was he was actually jonesing and digging on some of these Perique and Latakia blends, some of the strong English blends. He does not have the cold this year, so you're right. Let's see how this goes. And I could sm I could smell the Perique as soon as the, the bag came out of the uh, as soon as the Ziploc came out. So I've described Perique before as tasting a little bit like... Ketchup is what you say. No, 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 no. The the Perique always tastes a little bit like um, evergreen. It's like a Christmas tree. Maybe it's connected with some memories of Christmas, too. Maybe. Uh -huh. Speaking of memories of Christmas, today's question... You know, yesterday we asked about your favorite Christmas tradition as a kid. What's your favorite Christmas tradition now as an adult? So, boy, what's your favorite Christmas tradition? No underpants. <laughs> Who am I kidding? It's probably my favorite then, too. <laughs> Boy, <coughs> easy for you to say. Boy, how times have changed. Uh, no, my favorite tradition now is getting to spend time with family. Um, you know, a lot of times we'll go to. Is that a uh, tradition? Spending time with family is that a tradition? I think so. Okay, keep going. I think it can be. I think in some of the circumstances, for example, many times his family will go to a, a Christmas Eve service at church and. Spend time worshiping together and celebrating together. Last year, that was at the beach. Tradition. At the beach Ugh. in um, and Myrtle That beach. is a tradition I would rather not repeat. Last year, everybody got sick with a pukey virus at Christmas, Christmas time. Yes, we did. That was terrible. Nothing like renting a condo right on the beach and being sick as a dog. The renting a quarantine zone. What we did. Um... Should have just should have just gone through FEMA. Is that that where you got that? Um, not why it was a discount. No, but I mean, getting to to do things with family, things like like um, in Greensboro, uh, there's a neighborhood where they hang Christmas balls of tree light. balls, and it's one of I think it's the nation's largest um, neighborhood illuminary in in the, the whole country. Um, and so everybody in this neighborhood participates. And so you can drive through there. Um, things like that, getting to go to some of the 
the things. And, and then, you know, at Christmas time, people have more time off. They just have time to come over and, you know, take off your shoes and play games and just relax. I enjoy getting to relax with, with friends and family. You know, we've talked before, my love language is quality time, and Christmas tends to allow for more of that. And so, you know, maybe it's not a one tradition per se, but just that that fact um, is nice. Um, for me, one of my favorite traditions as an adult, besides everything Seth said, because <laughs> it is, it's a blast to be together with family and to spend quality time together and all that jazz. I totally agree with jazz you. Jazz is also a but, tradition. It has been a, a semi-frequent tradition in our family to get a whole bunch of us together via Skype. And it, it's, it's a fun tradition that interrupts everything else that's going on in everyone's life. In the past, we've projected it on the wall. Um, we've had huge groups together. We've had small groups together. But I've got family scattered all over the U.S. And uh, <clears throat> it's been fun to get on there. Uh, with just my sisters for a little while and talk to my family and everybody kind of shares what they did uh, over the Christmas holiday. And of course, lots and lots of traditions that you're sharing that get thrown in there as well. It's so much fun. The moments that are the most fun are those moments with giving the gifts to the kids, watching them play and interact. That, those are great moments. But as far as the tradition as it's come as an adult, is just the connecting now over long distances with uh, people that we love and it's gotten better in recent years as people have become more skype and and um, video chatting aware and so we had some bad traditions right early yeah the, the traditions used to be a whole lot of noise a whole lot of video feedback and microphone feedback and cameras up people's noses yeah is this thing on <laughs> i tried to tell dad to stop doing that but he wouldn't <laughs> Um, so it's gotten better as everyone kind of has learned, hey, uh, hit the mute switch when you're not talking and unmute, and that makes life a little bit easier. How about you? As an adult, what's your favorite tradition that you're doing now at Christmas time? And if there's one that you've always wanted to do, best time to start is right now, right? One of my favorite traditions is signing the Christmas cornament. That's a great idea. We should do that. All right. But we'll do that. As you guys continue to write your responses to the question in the comments. In the meantime, have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow. See you guys.